morning. It's Saturday morning, April the 1st, 2023, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and today we're going to read Psalm 10, verse 15 and 16 for our devotion this morning. Psalm 10, verses 15 and 16 say this, Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. And these two verses speak of the justice of God and that he is a God who will judge righteously and that he is a God who will bring into account those who are unbelievers Ultimately, the heathen speak of those who do not believe in him, who are not considered righteous in the biblical terminology because of the fact that they haven't believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the distinction that God makes between the righteous and the heathen. And the Bible says that God will bring into judgment those who, who reject him, who do not put their faith and trust in him. And so he says, Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness that thou, till thou find none. The Lord, for, the Lord is king forever and ever over the heathen. The heathen are perished out of his land. And so God still claims ownership and still claims the right to determine what will happen to these folks. But he gives every person the freedom to choose if they'll believe in their, if they'll believe in Jesus Christ and put their faith and trust in Him, or not, and and He is a righteous judge. A lot of people don't believe that they don't accept God as being a righteous judge, because they're judging with the with the thoughts and with the appearances of the eyes instead of judging righteous judgment like like the Lord uses, and His righteousness is the only kind that he can accept. And so when the imputed righteousness of Christ is rejected, of course, God has no choice but to send and bring judgment. Isaiah chapter 61 talks about clothing me with the robes of righteousness. And this is a passage of scripture from the Old Testament that implies imputed righteousness. And of course, the New Testament teaches this very clearly that Righteousness is imputed to the one who uh, puts his or her faith and trust in, in the Lord. Romans chapter 4 talks about Abraham. Abraham believed God, the Bible says, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. God considered him a righteous man based on his faith and trust, based on his acceptance of what God had said was true. And so he justified him as a righteous man based on his faith. And that's always what righteousness will be based on. It's God's determination that those who believe on him, put their confidence, faith, and trust in him, will be justified before the holy court of eternity, if you want to call it that. He is a just judge. I'm so thankful that God's given each of us an opportunity, an equal opportunity to hear and know, know the truth. It's not something we can purchase with money. We cannot purchase the righteousness of God for our soul with any good works or any efforts or any deeds. It's all a free gift. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And Christ died freely for all men. Have you, have you put your trust and faith in him? If not, I pray that you will. Be justified before the eternal God. And don't have to stand before him in judgment one day. God help you today.